Father God, don't let us take the breath, God. Don't let us take the breath for granted, Father God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, God, that you are in us and near us and with us, God. We thank you, Father God, for our, our bishop and our pastor, God, and their absence. We pray you bless them, Father God. We pray you protect them, Father God. We pray you use them, Father God, that they would come back recharged and refreshed, Father God. Hallelujah. Fresh anointing on them, God. Stir up the gifts that you place within them, God, like you stir the cornerstone. Stir up within us the gifts you place within us, God, like you stir the cornerstone, God. The healing cornerstone, God. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for our guests today, Father God. We thank you for the speaker of the hour today, Father God. Elder Nevada, Father God. We thank you for her. Please, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Lord God. I thank you, Father God, that she walks in divine health, Father God. Every cell, every tissue, every organ, every nerve, every muscle, thank you, God. every tissue, Father God. It works the way you created it to, Father God. And I thank you, Father God, that you have a purpose and a plan for her, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you have a purpose and a plan for us, Father God. I thank you for the divine appointments, Father God. I thank you in advance, Father God, for the word that goes to the spirit of Father God. I thank you in advance, Father God, that our hearts are prepared already to receive that word, Father God. Help us to apply it to our lives, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that she walks in favor, God, with you in my hand, God. I thank you, Father God, that wealth and honor and riches are in her house, Father God. Father God, I thank you, Lord, that there's nothing missing, nothing lacking, nothing broken, Father God. Thank you, Lord. We pray that your good and perfect will would be done in us, through us today, Father God. In your name we pray. Amen.
us the ten times fold for these sins that gave Father God and the ones that couldn't give to them, Father God, bless their hearts for the next time that they enter your gate and you can enter in your, in your church, Father God, they'll be able to give, Father God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.
for ritual. Yeah. And I promised the Lord that I would not get caught up in a ritual, but I'd stay focused so I can see him again. I don't want to do all the singing and preaching. And then when I step before him, he said, depart from me. You work with an iniquity. But I want to hear him say, well done. Thy good and
abundant in him. Verse 39. But we are not of those who draw back to perdition, but of those who believe to the saving of the soul. Tell somebody you got to be saved. Yes, you got to be born again. Chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith. Tell somebody, say, now faith. Now faith. I'm talking about yesterday faith, tomorrow faith, last night faith. But now, tell them, say, now. Now. Come on, say it with some authority. Say, now faith. Now faith. Some of y'all ain't caught that yet. Say, now faith. Now faith. It's the substance of things hoped for. I ain't got to see it. I ain't got to touch it. I just got to believe in God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Yeah. Tell somebody, I ain't got to see it. I ain't got to see it. I just got to believe it. I just got to believe it. That's what faith is. Yeah. All right, but without faith, tell them, say, now, well, again, it's, a, it's a flip side to this thing. It said, now faith is, but then it goes down and says, but without faith, tell them now. Say, but without faith.
will make us to strive to be more like him. A word to will make us want to be to get into his presence Amen. and to trust him even the more. Yes. A word that will make us say, God, I know you can and I know you will. Yes. And in order for us to do this, we got to have faith. Faith ain't something you see. As a faith ain't something that you see. Yeah. Everybody's looking for a word these days. Yeah. Everybody wants somebody to prophesy. Yeah. Yeah. I've never in my life seen a time where people just want them to prophesy. Yeah. Right. You're going to get a new house. Yeah. I don't need you to tell me I'm going to get a new house. I just got to go to work. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need you to tell me I'm going to get a, a new car. I just got to work another job or do something. Yeah. 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 But tell me something that's going to keep me. Tell me something that's going to help me stand in these next days. Tell me something that I don't know that's going to keep me in a time like this. Our churches are mixed up and mixed up with a bunch of stuff that's become a sound of brass and a ticking and symbol in the nostrils of God. It's time out for us playing church and it's time for us to be the church. Yeah. Right. It's a place that I can't go. Right. It's a place 
things I can't do. Yeah. It's even some clothes I can't wear yeah. because of who I am yeah. and because of my character mm -hmm. and because of what God has instilled me. He said, you've got to be holy. Yeah. Tell somebody you got to be holy. Yeah. Ain't no way around it. He said, you must be. you got to be holy. And holiness is nothing but a Brace it up, you can brace it down, but you got to be holy. Amen. We don't preach this now. Right. We preach eat bread when you're hungry, water when you're thirsty, food on the table, shelter in the store. We know that. But tell me how to live a clean life. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me how to keep myself. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I need to know. Tell me how to stand when the enemy attacks me. Yeah. And I don't know which way to go. That's what I need to know. Yeah. Makes no difference. Some of us know a lot of words, but our lifestyle is going in another direction. God help us. But this scripture was originally written to believers who were in the process of losing their faith. So here in Hebrews chapter 11, but to understand it, chapter 11, you need to go back. And, and pick up on chapter, chapter 10 and, and come on over in verses 38 and 39. But how many of you know that God does not want to be hearers of his word only? Right. We got to be what? Doers of his word. I tell you, it's a good thing to be a doer of the word and just not hear it. Because some of us hear it and yet we don't understand it. Amen. Look at your neighbor and say, somebody hear it. Somebody hear it. But they don't understand it. It's obvious that, that the believers were thrown back in fear as peer persecution came upon them. However, they were reminded that it's impossible to overcome without faith. Faith anticipates certainty for the future. There's no way you can invest in anything without certainty that what you're investing in is trustworthy. I don't want to invest in something that I don't think is going to bring me something back. Amen. So I just got to be trustworthy. Faith is the ability to look beyond the visible into the invisible. Amen. The writer of the Old and New Testament recognized God's creative power as the basis of their faith in his word. Their faith was based upon the fact that God spoke in the invisible world and was created out of invisible things. Amen. Only God can do that. Amen. We're limited to what we can do. Faith sharpens our vision. Abraham was able to look beyond the ditch to the city who built it and make it was God. Yeah. Faith necessitates diligence. Uh -huh. I want to say you got to be diligent. The Hebrews lacked diligence. The lack of diligence led to ignorance and unbelief resulting in the lack of perseverance. Tell somebody you got to persevere. The writer reminds them that God only rewards earnest seekers. That's why he said, seek him now while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. The scripture lets us know for myself without faith is impossible to please God. Yeah. Tell somebody, stop trying to please man. Stop trying to please man. And please God. And please God. Tell somebody else on the other side, stop trying to please man. Stop trying to please man. But let's please God. Yeah. Come on, press them, let's get ready to get out of here. I know y'all, y'all, y'all feel pretty good. Yeah. But where is your faith this morning? That's all right. Yeah. That was my question. Who is your faith in? I can cover you sometimes if you might now, sir. Yeah. But on the other time, you might not. But where is your faith this morning? All right, all right now. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, talk to me, yeah. somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody say, look. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Luke 66. Uh -huh. You got to tell me a little bit more, baby. Yeah. About somebody uh -huh. that had to be. Yeah. Well, I began to look in the great book. Yeah. And the Bible told me Abel's faith uh -huh. resulted in offering. Yeah. His offering well spoke to him. Yeah. Enoch's faith caused him to live a life that was pleasing to God. Yeah. Noah's faith moved him to build an ark yeah. when it was warned by God. Yeah. Abraham's faith yeah. moved him uh -huh. to wait on the promised seed. Yeah. His son, yeah. Abraham's faith. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. My faith. Yeah. Jacob blessed his son uh -huh. before he died. Yeah.
church and by the wall and impact, but without the anointing of God. We got to have faith, y'all. We're living in a time now where everything and anything goes. Everything. And guess what is happening in our churches? And I want you to know God is not pleased. He wants us to come out and be separate. We got to come out. How can you stand in a place where you know it ain't nothing but mess? Disturbance. Yeah. 
Because the Bible lets me know to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I'm in a win win situation here. I don't have to have no more headaches, <laughs> no more bills. Everything.
the harbor of God. And if you don't have faith, baby girl, baby boy, big man, little man, old woman, young girl, if you don't have faith,
praise the Lord, church. What a word. Amen. Hallelujah. Word. Did you see that first you see the faith? Amen. 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 Must you see the faith in God. In order for things to change, in order for things to grow. Amen. In Him. Amen. Amen. Thank you. That was such an awesome word this morning. Does anyone just need prayer this morning? If you just need prayer, just come down to the altar. Amen. If you just need a special touch this morning. Amen. You need God just to move on your behalf. Amen.
calendars for November the 2nd, we will be having a shoe rally here at 3 o'clock. So we ask that if you don't have anything to do, to please come back and help us um, with these programs. Thank you.